Hello everyone! If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and comment what type of content you would like to see next time. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking the video, consider subscribing. Check out the Patreon in the video description for some extra steamy content. Enjoy the video! My name is Jake. Since a young age, I was interested in cross-dressing. When I was young, we had a play in school and the teacher dressed few of us boys as girls. I remember she told me to put on a pink frock and white stockings. Since then, I was really hooked on dressing like a girl. I loved everything about it. But I kept my cross dressing a secret until one day my best friend found out about it. Amy was her name. She was so cool and we used to hang out a lot. She was kind of a tomboy and didn't really fit with the other girls. I was quite shy but I felt really comfortable around Amy. We did so many things together and I could always count on her. I was cross-dressing almost every day when I was around 18 years old. I used to buy things like dresses and makeup online. I lived with my mother and most of the time she was out of the house due to her long work shift. That gave me more time to dress up around the house. As time passed by, my desire to go out in public grew. I was board dressing just inside the house. But at the same time, I was sacred to go out and afraid someone might find my secret. So slowly, I started to make myself become more passable as a girl. I practiced a lot in front of the mirror to improve my feminine gestures and walk. I used to learn dance steps to famous girl group songs. After some time, I did get better at my transformation and my confidence grew. But I only did all these things when I was alone. My mom had no idea because I was very good at keeping things hidden from here. I wanted to share my cross dressing with someone but I really feared they would not accept me after that. During one college week, we had tons of assignment. Amy was my group partner in most of the subjects. I used to invite Amy to my house a lot but mostly we hanged out in the living room because I had many things hidden in my closet and I took every precaution I could to hide my cross dressing secret. One afternoon, we were doing a group report together in my house. We finished the report and Amy left the house. My mom wasn't going to come back for a few more hours, so I decided to dress up. I went to my room to get ready. I undressed myself completely and put on the bra and knickers first. Then, I slipped into a yellow summer dress and sheer pantyhose. And to finish the look, I put on a brown straight hair wig that I brought recently. I didn't feel like putting on the makeup because it took time and effort to remove them as well. So, I just put on some pink lip gloss. I had three pair of shoes, all of them high heels. This time, I decided to wear the white heels. I checked myself in the mirror and I was happy with how I looked. Then, I opened the door and stepped into the living room. To my horror, Amy was standing right there. She saw me and screamed with surprise. I turned back immediately and stood there not knowing what to do. I was so shocked to see her. Amy then finally spoke and asked, Who are you? What are you doing here? I froze. Completely feeling so embarrassed. I figured it was no point to hide it anymore. She has seen me now. So I tried to think what to say but I was feeling so shy to turn around and face Amy. Amy spoke again, Who are you? Where is Jake? Are you his girlfriend? I was surprised. She really thought I was a girl. She was going to get really shocked few moments later. With all the courage I had, I turned around. She looked at me. I was nervous to look into her eyes so kept staring down. Amy getting a little closer now, why aren't you talking? What are you doing here? She sounded pretty nervous as well. I finally looked up and spoke. I could see from her face, Amy was totally shocked to realize it was actually me dressed as a girl. I told her everything and she sat there listening. After a lot of talking, she was very supportive and praised my looks. Amy told me she actually came back to get back her notebook which she left in my house. We laughed at the coincidence. I had never felt so close to someone and I felt strange at first but relieved to share my secret with someone. After that day, Amy and I used to hang out even more. Even though, she was not much interested to dress up or glam up, she loved getting me dressed up. 
I felt like she was enjoying feeling more manly in our friendship as I was the more feminine one. I went out in public for the first time with Amy and it was really amazing. I wore a cute white top and blue knee-length skirt with black sandals. We went to the mall, did a lot of shopping and went out to eat in restaurant and then went for walk in the park. I really wanted those moment to not end. It was so wonderful. Amy made my dreams come true and I thanked her always for that. She was modest about it but she really cared. I started going out with Amy more frequently and sometimes, I would go alone too. I started getting quite confident about my feminine looks. I even managed to sound more feminine and I grew my hair quite long. One evening, Amy called me up and asked me if I could go on a short trip with her. It was a wedding and she was one of the bride's maid. It was her school friend's wedding. Another friend who was supposed to be a bridesmaid was sick and could not attend. Amy told me she also knew very less people there and it was a small wedding. She said she also had a spare dress of the bridesmaid and suggested me to go with her as a girl for the whole trip and also be one of the bridesmaid in her friend's wedding. Hearing that, I was super thrilled. I immediately said I would manage it anyhow. It was like a dream come true for me. So, I planned everything out with my mom and told her I was going with Amy for a short trip. The day arrived, Amy came to pick me up in her car. I had butterflies in my stomach. I was super excited. As we drove out of the neighborhood, I slipped into a white floral dress inside the car. Amy was giggling the whole time. I was already wearing bra and knickers inside my male clothes. Before leaving the house. I let my hair down and slipped into a pair of brown wedge shoes. Then I applied some eyeliner and lip gloss. It was a three hours drive to the wedding so we had to get few snacks and drinks from the department store. We picked the stuffs and started driving again. It was an amazing sensation to be so far away from home and dress like a girl. I loved every moment of it and felt like a real girl. I couldn't thank Amy enough. As, we reached Amy's friend house, I was getting nervous again. Amy looked at me as we parked the car and told me it would be fine and we would have a great time. I nodded and we gave each other a high five. We got out of the car, took our things and went inside the house. There were few people working here and there and as we made an entrance, all of them turned their eyes on us. I felt quite shy. Amy's friend Jenny welcomed us inside the house. She was the one getting married the next day. Everyone greeted us and then Amy introduced me as one of her close friend Julia. Jenny took us to the room where we would be spending the next few nights. You gals must be tired from the drive, get some rest and we will catch up in few hours. Jenny said with a smile. We nodded and got to unpack our things. As soon as Amy and I was alone, I went up to Amy and gave her a big hug. She smiled and pushed me away teasingly. We started unpacking. I had left all my manly things in the car and only brought the feminine stuffs in the bag. I had brought few dresses, four different pantyhose, a box of makeup and three pair of shoes. You really are a girl. Amy said as she saw the things that I had packed. I blushed. Hey, guys. Part 2 will be coming out soon. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.